All right, we're live. Hi guys. Hello everyone. <laughs> we'll get start. We'll wait a few minutes yeah. until people get here. <laughs> uh, we don't do lives very often. It's me and Mirabella's first time yes. doing a live, so we might be a little tongue-tied. So <laughs> yeah, all good. we'll do our very best. Uh, we're gonna be playing with all things Lily Lolo today. Uh, now through the end of day on Thursday of this week, we're offering 20% off of all Lily Lolo <laughs> products. Uh, it's kind of the biggest sale that we've done on Lily Lolo, I think since we brought them in. So it's really exciting. Yeah. Um, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I've done a couple of videos where I got to play with Lily Lolo with all of you. Um, so today, instead of applying it, we're just going to run through our favorites and we're going to talk about the newest eyeshadows that just launched that we yes. just brought onto our website. Um, they're super, super fun. So I'm really excited to just jump in and we're just going to have fun. We're going to play, ask questions. Um, if there's anything you want to see specifically swatched, you can um, ask that in the comments. We don't have the testers of everything here at the studio, but if we have it, we'll swatch it for sure. And we'll show it to you. Definitely. We're what? super excited about the, the loose eyeshadows for sure. So yes. Okay. So I think, I think let's go ahead and get started. I think we've got some people here joining us. Hello everyone. All right. I'll stop petting Stella. Stella's down here. <laughs> go away, Stella. Go lay down. She's too cute. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start with my favorites. Okay. And I don't know if we have overlap. We might. We might have some overlapping favorite products, but I'll do mine first and then I'll let Mirabella jump in and talk about her favorites. So first off, my absolute favorite Lily Lolo product is Flawless Silk. So this is actually one of their finishing powders. So it doesn't have a tint to it. Um, it doesn't give any coverage, but it just really smooths out the skin, blurs the skin. It has like the tiniest, tiniest bit of mica in it that gives a little bit of shimmer. Um, and I really like that because it, it's like gives me the oil control from a powder, but it doesn't mattify at all. It gives me a little bit of luminescence. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. It's actually, hmm, it might be hard to show this on camera, but it's actually like a, the faintest bit of like a peach shade. Ooh, I do not think that's going to show up, but it was a try. Um, <laughs> it's like the faintest bit pink and that helps correct sallowness and dullness in the skin. Yeah. Really good for just kind of blurring out everything, like you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not being super mattifying, which is awesome. Yeah. So for me, I really like really glowy, dewy sunscreens, mm -hmm. but I don't like that my skin's very oily. And so those sunscreens tend to just like pull apart throughout the day or just not last as long. My skin feels really greasy. So having a loose powder to put on top of my tinted sunscreen is clutch. So specifically, I put this on top of the IS Clinical Eclipse Tinted Sunscreen, mm. and it looks really, really beautiful. That's a good duo for sure. Yeah. Next up, let's see what I want to do next. <laughs> Undressed. So this is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now, if you can see it. Um, don't get this one confused with the other one. There's another shade called Stripped, and it is a little <laughs> bit different than this one. This one's just like an everyday nude shade. You can see that. I don't know, I'm supposed to put my hand up, huh? <laughs> but it's just a really wearable shade for anything. It looks really good with the soft nude lip liner pencil underneath. I didn't do that today, but it is really nice. It just adds a little more definition to the lips and it keeps, it makes your lipstick last longer. And last but not least, my other favorite one is this eyeshadow palette. I so hope pretty. that the camera can pick up how beautiful this is. Um, this is called, what is this one called? This is the Golden Hour Eye Palette. This is the newest release from Lily Lolo. And it's just all really warm tones, but it's not like your classic sunset palette that's literally just all like orange and red and brown. They actually mixed in a little bit of these, some slightly cooler pinks in there too. So you can get a really rounded out eye look. You can just do a wash of this really light, kind of faint peach color, or you can do kind of a deeper look with some of the darker colors. There's like a straight up gold in there that is super, super fun. Yeah. I just find this to be really wearable and usable. I know that you've been playing with it too, huh? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I like it a lot more like you were saying, because it's not super orange. I know a lot of like sunset and golden palettes out there, they tend to be like super orange, I feel mm -hmm. like. And I like the pinker undertones, um, or yes, just the, pink, so the pinky peach tones. Um, and just to find that gold is super pretty though. Mm -hmm. My and I actually, I also really think this works on all skin tones. I know yeah. that if you have very deep skin, there's not going to be a ton that you can do with this really light shade. 
Um, you could maybe do a little bit of highlighting with it, but these deep shades look so beautiful on deeper skin tones. Definitely. Yeah. Super, super pretty. So that is golden hour. Mm -hmm. And then perfect for summertime. Yeah, those are my favorite ones. Yeah. So do we have any rollover on what was your favorites? Um, I really liked also the Golden Hour palette as well. That one mm -hmm. was super, super, um, I think it's very versatile, especially for the summertime. And you can kind of even bring some of those darker colors in um, as we're getting kind of into the fall as well. Mm -hmm. um, but my, I'll start with my all-time favorite I'll hand product. Them to you. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be Stardust, I think. Is oh, that yeah. what it's called? I love Stardust yes. so, so, so yeah. much. It's so so Stardust um, by Lily Lolo is going to be a really nice kind of, Highlighter, loose powder. Um, it has this really gorgeous light shimmer that you can dust all over your face, but you can also just do it on the high points um, of the cheekbones, nose area. Um, you can even swipe it over the eye if you just want a quick little, mm -hmm. quick little iridescent look. Um, I don't think they'll be able to see it if I try, but um, yeah, it has this just, it's a great, great, um, let me see. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it on camera. I don't I know, think. you can, this doesn't show up. Yeah, no, it's, it's not so gonna pretty. show sadly, but you know. it's a great iridescent powder. Um, it works on, would you say all skin tones? Or probably uh, yeah, all Yeah, because it. it doesn't have chunks of glitter in it. Yeah, so yeah. I'm very versatile. You can kind of um, blend it out a little bit too, so it's not super shimmery, um, mm -hmm. but definitely a favorite product. I love the glowy, dewy, sun-kissed look. Mm -hmm. So this is perfect. You can layer it on top of pretty much anything, which is cool. Yeah, so. you know, I just got an idea with it. So I don't know if you guys have seen, going around on TikTok right now, they've been doing a lot of hacks around mixing liquid highlighters with liquid blushes. <gasps> Yes. And I actually think that it would be really cool to try mixing that in with one of the powder blushes that Lolo. I've that never tried that, but I just thought so that pretty. Idea. Actually, yeah, I've seen a couple a couple of um, videos on TikTok and Instagram and stuff of mixing mm -hmm. the you know the illuminators with the blushes and stuff. I think that would be a good. It would be really little. cool. If you have yeah. them at home, try it out and let us know because that would be a fun little. I think I'm going to try that tomorrow, actually. Yes. <laughs> we'll keep everyone posted yeah. on that in the comments. Yeah. So that's probably my um, favorite product. Going into, do you want to talk about bronzer? Yeah. I like, so let's I, jump into bronzers. Yes. So we'll jump into the bronzers. Um, Lily Lolo has these really great um, shimmery. And then also we have a matte one as well. But the bronzers, three we have of three them. of them. Yes. So my personal favorite for my skin tone is... Um, is gonna be the Waikiki color. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be a great shimmery bronzer. It's not super dark. Um, I will say with all of these bronzers, you can work them into any skin tone. They are very blendable. Um, even with me being fairly pale, mm -hmm. I can even use the darkest color that we'll talk about. Um, that, yeah. that is Waikiki. It's yes. not super dark. It's honestly just like a beautiful glowy, it's like, I don't know, just a glow giver. It's yes. not exactly like an intense bronzer. It's Correct. just like adding a warmth and a light shimmer. Definitely. I think that deeper skin tones could use this as a really beautiful highlighter. I think so too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So since, um, I mean, we're both a little bit more on the paler we're side. Very pale. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's what bronze, bronze spots yeah. is for, right? Um, but yeah, so this would be a great kind of bronzer slash highlighter and definitely for some of the darker complexions. Um, it would be a great kind of just shimmer and highlight. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have our middle... That one's my personal favorite, the Waikiki. Um, and then if we want to talk about the middle one, yeah. which is our, I forget the name of it exactly. This one is South Beach, and it's the only yes. one that's matte. Yes, so South Beach is going to be this great kind of middle color. It is matte, so if you're looking for more of just kind of the bronze look without getting all of that shimmer, um, say you're using, you know, the South also, Beach with it's gonna show the up. Stardust, you know, you don't want to do too much shimmer um, personally. Um, this one is a great mattifying option. Yeah, so you can really see hard it. Really tell, but yeah. it's just a bit darker. It yeah. looks pretty warm on me because I have a very cool skin tone, but that is South Beach right there. But yeah, and you can even blend it out. You know, we're just applying these with our fingers, mm -hmm. but if you blend yeah, it I had, out with a little bit I of I had to a, do a very thick swatch yeah. to get it to show up on yeah. the camera. <laughs> this <laughs> camera is very, good. like, brightening, so it's yeah. harder to show those deeper tones. Definitely, yes. So you can even blend that out you know, with a brush, too, depending, mm -hmm. depending on what coverage and what um, look you're going for, for sure which is yeah. fun. Um, and then we have the our, last one. This yes. actually is my favorite, yes. even though it's people would be like, that's too dark for your skin tone. It looks very dark, especially in the yeah. jar. Um, but it is also a little bit shimmery mm -hmm. and it is very, very blendable. So ooh, it's hard to, do it's, it hard hard to, to it's hard to see it with this camera because we have such great lighting in I here. Know. It's really hard to see. But even though it looks really dark in the pan, it is very blendable. And it's actually a little bit less orange than South Beach over here. 
-hmm. It's a little bit more of a neutral brown. And so it actually works better for cooler skin tones like mine. Definitely. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. So we love our bronzers. We love that we have a matte option. We love that we have um, two of the shimmery options, you know, to give that glowy look. Um, and like we just keep saying, they really are blendable. So you Very. can kind of play around. There's no right or wrong um, with choosing the color choice with these. Um, pretty much you can... You can just play with it. Yeah, play with fun. it. Yeah. yeah, they're super fun. So my personal favorite is the Waikiki for that bronzer. Um, and then I'm trying to think of my last favorite product. I think is yes. this one. Yes. I think this one. Yes. <laughs> so going back to <laughs> like kind of shy. my favorite, you know, shimmery look, I love the glowy bronze look. But then um, for the eye area, I usually don't do too much eyeshadow. But when I do, I love to do a little bit of kind of that white pearl iridescent um, shimmer. And this one is one of our pressed eyeshadows. This one is starry eyed. Um, so this one on camera, it's just going to look white, but um, it has this really, really gorgeous kind of shimmery iridescent look. I you know, can't really see it on the I arm. Know, which I love. Too pale, but I, know. I love to put this kind of in the inner corner to kind of make the inner corners of your eyes pop. So mm -hmm. this is my my favorite pressed um, eyeshadow that we have here. So I know. I don't think so. Sir. I think maybe. Oh, so you can see how it, see it. so you can see how um, opaque it is um, and how much coverage you do get. So you don't need a lot, but you can even apply it in the inner corner with your finger, um, or you can get a little brush. Um, kind of depends on you know the application process that you want. But super super pretty. I love doing this just to give my eyes a little pop sometimes. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna try yeah. that now. Yes. I've actually never tried this color. Yeah, I'm always like grabbing it. like. The shadows that I grab are like the browns and the yeah. neutrals, like maybe a little bit of a green tinge, but mm -hmm. I never grabbed like the light, bright, yeah. sparkly ones that I think of yes. you now. I think when I was younger, I used to just swipe it all over my eyelids and I would have like white eyelids, but <laughs> over the years, now that they're a little bit more, you know, um, shimmery, I just put them in the inner corners and it looks kind of cute. And you can also kind of um, drag it, you know, on like the bottom of your waterline a little bit mm -hmm. too. Which yeah, is, it just like opens the eyes yeah, and makes them pop. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I think I used to put too much dark uh, eyeliner <laughs> on the bottom when I was younger. So we're doing a little bit more of a brush. We've color. really evolved, haven't we? <laughs> we have, yes, definitely, which is so funny. But yeah, so those would be my favorite products. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, the bronzer, the starry eyed, and then the stardust. Lots of shimmery stuff for me, which is awesome. So Shimmer is fun, though. Yeah. I think Lily Lolo has a lot of shimmery products, mm -hmm. but it's nice that they're not glittery at all. Yes. Like you never have like chunks of glitter on your face. That's a good thing them. to add for sure, because I feel like mm -hmm. some people might think that when they think shimmery, sometimes people think, you know, like chunks of glitter, like you're saying, mm -hmm. but this is super blendable. Um, definitely more of like the natural sun kiss and just shimmery look, which is nice. So yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Like it. Fun okay. Stuff. The next thing we're going to do is going to be really fun. We're going to swatch and play with the new loose eyeshadows that we just brought on. Um, to be honest, it took us a while to bring these on because we were intimidated by loose eyeshadow. We were like, that sounds difficult. Why wouldn't we just get pressed eyeshadow? Um, but these colors are just so much more unique and interesting than their pressed eyeshadows. Um, the pressed eyeshadows come in some really nice neutral colors, but not in any little, any really like fun pigment playable colors. Um, and so the more that we played with loose shadows, the more we realized that they're not hard to work with at all. Like what Maddie, Madeline, my sister always says is that a, a, a loose eyeshadow or sorry, no, a pressed eyeshadow, as soon as you dip your brush in it has become a loose eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. And so that's really the basis of it. Like, it seems like it's going to be messy and scary to work with, but it's, it's really not. Yeah. I personally actually, since playing around with um, the loose eyeshadows. I like the way that they apply. Personally, mm -hmm. I think they're easier to apply and just the color payoff is really awesome. And we have mm -hmm. some great, we have some great colors um, picked up. Oop, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we have some great um, color options with the loose eyeshadows that we're going to show you some really fun, fun colors. Should we start with the funnest or should we go like neutral and then to like the big bang color? Let's do neutral. Okay, okay. We're gonna start yeah, with neutral. I think that okay. would be a good option. Let's do it. Okay, yeah. so the number one best selling eyeshadow from Lulu Lolo in the pressed, or sorry, not pressed, loose formula is Smoky Brown and it is my personal favorite. Gorgeous so, color. I'm just gonna use my finger and honestly, I would use my finger if I was applying these at home too. I know a lot of people like to use a brush for loose shadows, but I, I'm i not like a, so I have hooded eyes, so I don't really do like in the crease or anything fancy. I just do a wash of color and my finger does that just fine. <laughs> um, 
So I'm going to try to do a nice good swatch for you guys to see. Ooh, that was a big swatch. Okay. Oh, yeah. this, that it would be a very intense swipe if you did that on your eyelids, but that is like just thick so you can see it yeah. on the camera really. Yep. But you can blend this out. Yeah, they're very blendable, um, just like all the other products that we've been talking about. They blend super, super easily. Um, would you say this one is more of a matte or a shimmery finish? Shimmery. Shimmery, yeah. So it's, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's got a nice neutral brown base. And then it has just a little bit of silver sparkle to it. So it kind of turns it into a cooler toned brown. And that one is just really, really beautiful. It almost looks almost purpley just because of the, the combination of silver and brown. It's a gorgeous color though and really versatile. Mm -hmm. um, it's really gorgeous. pretty. That's my yes. favorite one. So that would be like that thick stripe would be like a large amount of pigment on your finger. And then if you blended it out more with a brush, it'd be quite a bit less pigmented than that. Definitely. Okay. So that is, that was not soft brown. That was smoky brown. Smoky, yes. Smoky brown. Smoky brown. That one's my favorite. Smoky brown. And um, we can even show them later with the application with the brush and spraying it and everything too. Which would be oh cool. yeah. So we'll do that with the intense yes. colors. We'll save the best for last for yeah. you guys. Yeah. We'll but... do that with the really intense <laughs> colors. Those are really fun. Yeah. Okay. Sticky toffee. Have you Ooh. tried this one yet? It's really nice. I didn't see it. I'm trying to think. Oh, I've seen, I think Lauren's been using that one a little bit too, which is pretty. Um, yeah, so sticky toffee, similar, but this one is more of a tan background with like a champagne colored shimmer oh, to it. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's a nice big swatch. Yeah. Yeah, you hit that oh, yeah. with the description. Yeah, Actually, has you that know champagne. What? I think it's a little bit rose gold. It does. I think it's rose gold. Ben's going to try to focus the camera and zoom in on this swatch for us. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a very beautiful rose gold, warmer toned, champagne-y. Yeah, definitely gorgeous a little bit color. more of a warm, kind of rosy mm -hmm. shimmer. Yes. Sure. Actually, I think this one would be a cool one to see what it looks like with water. Yes. So definitely. that is the most special part of these shadows is that when you add water, it makes, them, makes the payoff a lot brighter. It actually makes the shadow last longer on your eyes because it's like really sets it down. Yeah, so, definitely. It. You want to show them? Yeah, we're going to yeah. do this with just a Lily Lolo eyeshadow brush. It's just called eyeshadow. They have a couple different brushes for eye, for the eyes, but this one is like the main brush that they recommend. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the brush. Get it good and moist with the yes. makeup mist. Lily Lolo makeup mist. Very versatile product for sure. The makeup mist. Exactly. For a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And then I've already put pigment from the container. I've put it into the cap. That's just the easiest way to work with it, in my opinion. Stick it in the cap, and then you're gonna take your wet brush and just pack on the shadow. And then I can show you guys. This will look like when we swatched it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at that. So it's a lot darker than the original swatch that I did. Yeah, you can really you see the shimmer You get a lot of payoff on that. That looks look awesome. Look at that. That's really beautiful. I yeah. might have to take this eyeshadow home now. Yes. So that's my personal favorite way to apply it, just because of the color payoff. But, mm -hmm. I mean, you can do it as easy as just applying with your fingers like we showed you, but um, using the brush and adding a little bit of water or a makeup mist. It really makes it. It's, yeah. Makes the really shimmer pop too, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to clean up my brush because we're going to want to do some more colors yes. with it. Super pretty. I love that. And it's also, I do recommend just so that your, the dry eyeshadow doesn't stick into your cap, just wipe out your cap real quick. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just take a tissue and just get the moisture out of there. Yeah. Also keeping it sanitary too, just wiping, wiping it off, you know, if you're going to be using it. Love that color. Yeah, I might have to steal that too. <laughs> I know. I was like, I didn't expect that to be. Yeah. I played with that a little bit, but I didn't notice it was such a rose gold. It's yes. really pretty. I like that. Okay, which color should we do next? Okay, Miami taupe. Let's do Miami taupe. Ooh, yes. Let's this do one. this one on your skin tone. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really pretty on you. Mm -hmm. Should we do wet brush again? Sure. Yeah, we can do that. a lot more visible with the wet yeah, brush. Yeah, let's try that and all. Okay, there's that for you. Perfect. I'll wet the brush for you. Thank you. Let me make sure I got all the rose gold off. <laughs> okay. So 
spray, spray, spray. So we've got Thank a nice you. wet brush now. Yeah. We'll go ahead and grab some of this. So Miami Taupe is probably the most cool toned of their neutral shades. Um, it also has a little bit of shimmer in it. Pretty much most of the eyeshadows have a little shimmer. There's one matte one that we can show you. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and apply this. Oh yeah, so let me here, let me look at it. So I'm, I'm I might have it. over wet your brush a little bit actually. <laughs> but I can grab a little bit but it's more. it's still working. Yeah, so this is gonna be a great so pretty. kind of bronzy, what would you say kind of the undertone of the sparkles? I would say maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's a no. gold tone, but there is a coolness going on yes. with it because of the taupeness of it. It's like a really nice neutral color. Yeah, definitely. It's a really great neutral. You could put this all over your lid, maybe even use this kind of in the crease for some people. Um, but this, this is, a is very, super versatile. It's a very Gina color. Gina would yes. wear that. I think she has worn it, actually. Definitely. I think as soon as these shadows came in, Gina took home Miami Taupe and Smoky Brown. Yeah, I'm trying to get it so you guys can see. But you can definitely see the shimmer in the, in the camera mm -hmm. for sure. I'm bring it closer. That is really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like trying to focus. Maybe I'll put it in front of my face. But it's super, super pretty. Yeah, I really like that shade. Love the color. Okay, awesome. So that was our Miami taupe. Miami. So, yes, very versatile. A little bit different than the other one. The other one was a little bit more rose gold. And this one has that more of that taupey. Um, neutral color but yes yeah that one's really nice i feel like yeah we we put off getting these loose colors for so long so we just thought they would be messy and not fun to play with but the colors are so much better than the press the press are pretty but these are like something else like i feel like they were able to do something special by not pressing it I yes don't, i don't know what i, they I did. think i just the color payoff is awesome and it makes a great kind of easy application and I feel like there's a stigma around powdered, or not powdered, sorry, loose eyeshadows of them being more complicated to apply, but mm -hmm. I think they're just as easy, if not easier, so. I agree. Yeah. Okay, this one's, this one's a fun one. This is not for everybody, but I feel like it should be because it seems intimidating, but it's not. So this is, oh, I just looked at the name. This one's Golden Lilac. <gasps> yes. So basically it's a lilac with a golden flip. And so when you think of lilac, you think of a cool tone color, but because it has gold in it, it warms it up quite a bit. So let's swatch this one wet because it's just going to look, it's gonna look I think awesome. they all just look better on camera when you do them. Yeah. Get some water. Yeah, definitely this one having the kind of two tone, you have the cool, but then you also have the warm. It makes for mm -hmm. a really good kind of in-between color. Um, I'm excited to see it. Yeah, so our coworker Ashley, she has very, very, very fair skin, very light eyes, blonde hair, doesn't wear very much makeup. And this was actually the first one that I thought of for her because I feel like it looks really good on those really light skin tones, but it's very flexible color. And it's an easy way to like add a pop, but it's not crazy as you're as you're gonna Definitely. see. It's really very, very pretty. Yeah. I just kind of made a little bit of a mess, but that's because I'm being a little bit careless over here. We're gonna have eyeshadow everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love this color. Every time I see I'm this excited. color, I'm like, oh, I love it. Okay, so there's a rose gold there, so I'll do it underneath. Oh, wow. So it's not nearly as pigmented as the others. It's more of this, like, really beautiful purple with gold. It's so hard to capture. Okay, so you can kind of see the purpleness. Yeah, and the gold. Yeah. It kind of, like, disappears when I hit the sun because of the gold. Yes, we do have a little bit, not a glare, but it, we just have really great lighting in here. It is very so. bright in here. <laughs> <laughs> bright lighting, but it's a beautiful, beautiful kind of little pop, but you, it's also subtle enough that you could probably wear it every day. Mm -hmm. um, I really love that color. Bright. I had to show it because yeah, it's so pretty. I love that. Yeah, we can show, um, <clears throat> I think it's, what's the name? I like it's a pink. Pink fizz. Oh, pink fizz. Yes, let's we'll see mm -hmm. pink fizz next. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so this one I love to wear a light shimmery pink on the lids. Um, I think it's a really easy kind of everyday thing that you can just kind of swipe right on. Um, this one has this gorgeous kind of light pink shimmery almost, would you say this has a champagne-ish shimmer to it? I'm trying to think. Let's see it. I haven't played with this one yet actually. Let's see. 
Should we do this one dry or? Let's do it wet. Let's do it. Okay. It's just, this shows up so much better yes. on camera when we add water. Yeah, but this it's one is a it. gorgeous kind of shimmery, light pink, peachy -ness. Um Gorgeous color. Yes, yeah, so we have the kind of the shimmery purples that you can play with. We also have the shimmery pinks, mm -hmm. um, those bronze colors too, which are awesome. So let's go ahead and try this. In the pan, it doesn't look as glittery as some of the other ones or as shimmery, but maybe yeah, it is and I just can't tell. Let's see if we can do this up here for me. Uh, this one might be a little hard to show. On. Oh, I can kind of see it though. Oh my goodness. It has like a bubble gum pop to it. Yes. So Ooh. you can kind of see. Let me grab a little bit. That more. looks totally different than it did in the pan, actually. Yes. So it, in the pan, it doesn't look like it's that pigmented or has that much of a peachiness, bubble gum pink mm -hmm. to it. But it is a gorgeous, that gorgeous, is gorgeous. So color. pretty. It almost has like a little bit of like a what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like those almost like kind of that ear. What is that word? Um, <laughs> Effervescent. It kind of even no. has a little bit of the pinky and a little bit, would you say kind of purple? Oh, yeah, yes, I was going to say. Like it's like you see purple and then it hits the sun a little bit differently. Yes, and I think it has a, see that one yeah. too. That but is gorgeous. really cute. So this is my personal favorite of the loose eyeshadows just because I, I kind of love that in between pinky, purple, iridescent. It's a really nice pop color. on your complexion too. Definitely. You have those yeah. nice dark eyebrows oh, and dark you. lashes <laughs> and then the pink just looks yes. so good. Yeah, the dark hair skin but we have the nice pink to even out but yeah super I like exciting that a lot. Yes. okay i think we'll do one more of, yeah. so we have a bunch more of these loose shadows we just don't have time to play with each and every one Definitely. but the craziest shade of them all is kind of the best one sorry i'm cleaning up the table here um so we have to show it to you so that one that we were just talking about was pink fizz um on our website so just so you guys have that for reference okay chocolate Fudge cake. This shade is just unlike anything I've ever seen. It's awesome. You guys are in for a treat, a surprise. <laughs> it is such a fun color. Okay. Clean my brush off. So I would say this color transforms completely when you do it in a sheer color versus when you do it in a really dark, like wet application. Definitely. The dark wet application, it really shows off the purple shimmer that it has. And then if you really lightly dust it on, it's going to be brown with just a little bit of playful purple shimmer that, that pops out when you like step into the sun. Definitely. So we're going to show it to you wet because I don't mm. think it'll show up on camera otherwise. It's even great because you could use it as a dry kind of during the day. And if you're doing something at night and want Ooh. something a little bit more of a pop, you can reapply um, reapply with, you know, the brush and do it wet. And it really makes the, the purple pop a little bit more, um, which is awesome. Mm. We have Miss Stella over here. She's yeah, so rolling around. Yes, making sounds. <laughs> She's snuffling over there. <laughs> By the way, I for I realized we forgot to mention that the reason Gina's not here this week is she actually fell down and broke her hand. It's really yes. sad. Um, it's just been an eventful summer for Gina. First, she got COVID, and then she was sick, and then she fell down and broke her hand. Yeah. Two days ago, or maybe it was yesterday. No, it was two days ago. Um. So send lots of healing wishes to yes. Gina. I hope that she'll be back for you guys next week. We're hoping. Right Fingers now, crossed. Yeah. yeah, right now she's resting and recovering and probably watching this. Yeah. I think I saw some comments yes. on her. Yeah, we're <laughs> hoping for a speedy recovery for her. So. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So sad. We're in, we're in her place today. <laughs> yeah, we're in her place and we just decided to come on and play with makeup. Yep. <laughs> we're like, I think that's going to be the most fun thing to do. Let's just come on here, play with eyeshadow. Yeah, show you guys some fun. of the fun colors. So. Yeah. Okay, without further ado, this color that I've been hyping up. Let's see, where do I want to do it? Up here. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's literally awesome. the best thing ever. Okay, I didn't do that quite strong enough. Let's add some more. But it is this rich, rich warm brown with the most amazing purple flip when it hits the light. Yeah, so it has this awesome kind of purple hue flip that when you're in the sunlight or just any type of, you know, lit it looks it looks it's awesome. really pretty and we were yeah. playing with this earlier and we realized once it dries down it's not wet anymore it's pretty budge proof like it'll move around a tiny bit if you're really rubbing your finger through it but for the most part it really stays put so you don't have to worry about you know your fudge chocolate fudge cake getting all over your yeah cheeks and face yes 
Yeah, and so I feel like you can favorite, even have a little favorite. bit more control too when you're doing um, the web application. That's true. You, you don't know, have the same fallout. Fallout, yes, definitely. That is so. very true. Yeah, so fallout basically is when you've covered your brush in a ton of pigment because you really want to get a, like a really full coverage eyeshadow look. Um, but as soon as you start dusting across your face, it just like drops all over your cheeks. And that is a really nice thing about doing the wet application is that as long as you tap your brush off, it's not going to have fallout. Yeah. So a lot more control with that, which is nice. Yes. So love that. that. It's a beautiful important. color. Um, we wanted to save the, the so best, pretty. the most fancy color for last, but it's a gorgeous color um, and very versatile. So cool. I love Yay. that so much. Yeah, it is bunch proof. You're wiping it off and it's still there. I know, so. <laughs> it is. I'm just going to have this on my arm for a little while and that's okay. I'll try not to get it on my pretty new smock. Yes. Okay, what else should we play with before we go? Lipsticks? You want to show up some of the lipsticks or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So some of you might point out that some of these shades are sold out right now, but they will be back on the website within two to four hours. Um, they're in stock. They're in our store. Our system just has a little bit of a delay when we put things in stock for the website to fully catch up. So just keep watching the website. These, all of these shades will be in stock by the end of the day today. So, <laughs> so like, um, the lipsticks that we offer here from Lily Lolo, they are very moisturizing, like you were saying. Yes. So, um, not a matte finish, um, we don't have any matte finishes, correct? No, we don't have any matte finishes from Lulu Lolo. Um, I would say this is like a satiny finish. It's yep. not super dewy. It's not super drying. It's not um, like a, a wear. It's not, it's like a stain. So it's not going to wear all day long. But the nice thing is that it's really easy to reapply. It's kind of somewhere between a balm and a lipstick, yep. in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so I want to show you guys a few of my favorite shades. I'm going to swatch them on my arm that's not covered in <laughs> eyeshadow. Um, so this one is without a stitch. And some of you who are AOS fanaticals know that this was in the Rewards Center a few months ago. I hope you were able to pick it up then. Oh, but it is just a perfect nude. And see how sheer it is. Like those couple swipes, like it's very easy to put on without a mirror. You just pull out of your purse and, and swipe on. Definitely. So that was without a stitch. Which is, I, I would say that's their most neutral. Mm -hmm. Although, watch me open up another one and it's going to be more neutral than this one. <laughs> oh, this one's the most. Okay, this <laughs> one's like, they're also, I will say, they're all neutral lip shades. They're yes. all neutrals. None of them are like unnatural colors. They're just neutrals in different shades. So this one, without a stitch. This one is birthday suit. So you can see, whew, that was a bad swatch. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a mouth. I now a little mouth. On my looks arm. like little lips. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just drawing lips on my arms. It's okay. <laughs> it's the most natural. So that one you can see, it's also neutral. It's just a little bit more, maybe more peachy color. I would say a little bit more peachy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say that these um, lipsticks are a little like they are buildable? Um, with the color a little bit. Yes. Yes. So you could put on a, like a really sheer wash. You could put on put it on and then take a. Um, tissue and just like dab like this just like that and it would be a little bit less a little more of a natural wash okay we did without a stitch we did birthday suit was the last one I just did and let's do in the all together Ooh, this one is more of a mauve oh yeah Ooh, that was a little bit better of a swatch Oops, went blurry. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this one's definitely more of a mauve um, mauve tone to it. Yeah. But all so, very neutral yeah. shades. Um, again. Yeah, maybe this would be really nice on more cool tones. Definitely. That's a really nice shade. I wear that one a lot, actually. Beautiful stuff. Let's do one more. Oh, oh, natural. I bet you this is the most nude one. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's nude, nude. So this is oh, natural. Oop. Yeah, that's the most nude, like classic nude. Definitely. But that really, I would consider them all nudes, just mm -hmm. some of them are slightly different tones and very natural. I saw someone ask on here how long wear they are. They're not insanely long wear. You know, they're going to come right off as soon as you eat food. Um, but they're very easy to apply. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So you kind of sacrifice a little bit of the long wearing for the fact that it's really easy to just throw on, have it in your purse. Um, I find, I've had these in my purse for a long time and I find they don't like pop open and go everywhere. They stay pretty sealed up. They're small. Um, and there's it, yeah. a lot of product in here. Like that's, this is an almost new tube and it's, that's pretty, a lot of product. So I've had mine probably for two years. I should probably get fresh <laughs> ones, but they last a long time. Really easy to just pop on the lips. Very moisturizing. I highly recommend if you like a no fuss lipstick. Yeah, definitely. It's very convenient. Throw it in your bag. Apply it whenever. Yep. Oh, and I will mention though, if you really want to extend the wear, that you could you can do a lip pencil underneath that. So any kind of nude lip pencil will do. Um, this one is soft nude. Might as well swatch it. Let me do this for you guys real quick. Yeah, and this lip pencil that we have can pretty much work with most of all of the colors. Yeah, we offer. Yeah, so super yeah, blendable. Yeah, so that's soft nude in a very like I pressed pretty hard so you guys can see it, but you can do it a lot more sheer than that, and it will literally work with all of these. It's very easy and wearable, yeah. and that definitely extends the wear of the lipstick. Definitely, yeah, very versatile um, color for mm -hmm. sure. Okay, I think we're starting to cover everything. Yes, let's get some questions here. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Gina's chiming in here. Hi, Gina. <laughs> she loves the warm taupe shades. Yes. Maxine loves this color. I know for a fact that she was, she said that while we were talking about golden lilac. My grandmother Maxine loves shades like this and they look really, really good on her. She has big dark brown eyes and they look fantastic Yay. on her. What do you recommend for olive warm tones for eyeshadows? Okay, so I'm gonna guess that means shades look really good on olive warm tones. I would say a lot of the ones that we swatched here are warm yeah. tones that would look good. Since you have more warm bases, um, you will wanna avoid really cool tone things. It might look a little bit funny on you. Um, so I'd probably say, where'd I go with that? So smoky brown and where did I put it? <laughs> Definitely smoky brown though. That one would blend very ah, nicely on the sticky skin. Sticky toffee. Sticky mm, toffee would yes. look really beautiful on all of warm skin tones. That would look really nice on you. And then if you like more of a neutral colors, then either cream soda or vanilla shimmer. These are like much lighter tones, just like a natural wash of color that'll kind of cancel out any redness that you have in your eyelids, any purpleness, and will look really nice in your skin tone as well. Those are my recommendations. That was cream soda, vanilla shimmer, sticky toffee, wherever I put that, and the smoky yes. brown also. Even though smoky brown has a little bit of that cooler shift to it, I think it would still look really good on your skin tone. Definitely. Yeah, cream soda is very gorgeous too. Lauren's chiming in. So Lauren also works for customer service. She's one of our SDs at Art of Skincare. You all met her last week. And she's the one who swatched chocolate fudge cake on her arm this morning, wet. And we were all just like, oh it my was... gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> like we have to show that on camera. It's so unique and cool. Yes. We'll give credit to Lauren for telling us to bring it in today. Yeah. It, was, it was a great color choice for sure. Awesome. Okay, Gina also chimed in and says that she does like how moist these lipsticks are without running into the lip lines. It's very true. That's why I like it better than like a full on lipstick for me at least because I have little tiny lips and like really moisturizing lipsticks will just like slowly but surely like melt out of my lips Definitely. and look crazy. Yeah. And I think Gina has the same problem as well. And so that's why we like somewhere that's like a lipstick that's not too drying, but not too crazy moisturizing and oily so that it will yeah. stay put. It's very good like in between, um, especially for just, you know, aging lips or just mm -hmm. anyone that has, you know, lip lines, um, you know, smaller lips and whatnot. It works really well, like you were saying. So mm -hmm. great, great option, great in between. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Melissa asks, is the eyelid primer drying? No, it's actually a cream. Um, so their eyelid primer looks like, it looks like it could be a pressed powder, but it's actually like a very lightweight, creamy texture. And it has two shades in it. It has one that is for correcting sallowness and darkness in the eye area. So it's perfect for just correcting darkness on the eyelids. You can even use it under your eyes as well, as long as you're not acne prone, because it's not acne safe. I believe it has argan oil in it. So if you use it under your eyes, just know that 
if you are breakout prone, it could contribute to breakouts. Um, but as long as you're not, you can use it on the eyelids, underneath the eyes as a color corrector. And it works really nicely under even the loose shadow, loose powder shadows, even though it's a cream texture. It's, it's actually a really lovely, lovely yeah. eyeshadow primer. We should have brought it today. It's a bestseller. I just, I don't really use it because I'm not, I'm acne prone. And so I try to avoid the non-acne safe yes. products in the Lilolo. That is a common misconception that we do hear sometimes. Some people assume that everything that's from Lily Lolo is acne safe. And unfortunately, there are a few items from Lily Lolo that we carry that are not acne safe. It's going to be more of the pressed products as well as the BB creams. The BB creams are so pretty. They remind me a lot of the Sorella Tinted Dew Drops, actually. Okay. Yeah. They don't have SPF in them, but they're super dewy. They have more coverage than the Sorella Tinted Dew Drops, and they look really wonderful on dry skin. They're like perfect awesome. for dry skin that's not acne prone because it does have argan oil in it. Yeah. So if you're acne prone, Sorella Dew Drops, if you aren't acne prone, mm -hmm. the BB cream. Yeah, would the work BB awesome. cream for Lulu Lolo mm -hmm. doesn't have SPF in it, but it is a more coverage than Tinted Dew Drops, and it is very dewy. Yep. It's a very dewy finish. Awesome. It's very pretty. Let's see any more questions? Yay. Awesome. Melissa's going to go check that out. All right. Yeah, we yeah, are covering awesome. everything. You mentioned the sale. I did, but I'll mention it again. Yes. 20% um, off of all of the Lolo through the end of day on Thursday, which is, what's the date today? Through the end of the 18th. So I think midnight PST is when that discount will end. So make sure if there's anything that you did want to pick up, you pick it up from Lily Lolo. Um, we yeah. didn't talk about them at all, the foundations, um, but obviously we really like them. Mm -hmm. My shade is China Doll, and I feel like your shade might be China Doll too. Possibly. I think Maybe. when I was watching, I think China Doll was the one that mm -hmm. I was looking at too. So, um, yep. yeah, but they're, those are the foundations, correct? Yes, yeah. the foundations, yes, uh -huh. yes. And the foundations are really beautiful. I will come in after this video ends. I'll add to the description my um, Lily Lolo video that I did about a year ago um, where I use the foundation, the bronzers, finishing powder, highlighters. I think I even used a lip gloss in that one. <laughs> Ooh, <full laughs> so, yeah, so we'll link that one. That was my, like, bronze goddess summer look from last summer that was really, really fun. Um, and then you would also get the sample sizes for 20% off as well. So if you wanted to try out some different, um, of the mineral foundation colors, but you weren't sure which color you are, we do have samples for sale. They're only two bucks each. That's a really great way to make sure that you really like the formula and like the color and they're really large. So they're basically the same size as the eyeshadow container. So you get like a ton of product in a sample, it's probably a little bit smaller than this, but not by much. Yeah, definitely. You get a lot of product and great like travel size one too um if you don't want to bring your full one um but to try the colors out they last quite a while so mm -hmm. yeah. yeah awesome stuff yeah all right any more questions for us before we leave <laughs> this was really fun it was really yeah. fun just being able to jump on and just have some fun on here we didn't really have a plan <laughs> it was so last minute we were just like let's just go play with makeup yeah. and have a good time but we're happy to be here and yes. it's fun showing you guys all the different swatches and the colors all right. I Thanks think we got everybody's <laughs> questions. That was so much fun. Definitely comment, leave us comments and feedback if you have any questions. Ooh, someone is asking a Mitama question. I can try to answer. I mean, ask it. Yeah, go ahead. Put it in the <laughs> chat. Let's, let's see what you got. I'll try my best to answer. But if I can't, then you can always reach out to our live chat. Where are the videos? So all of our Mitama videos are in the Facebook group. So if you purchase a Mitama from us, go ahead and request to join our Facebook group. Um, if not, if you didn't purchase your Mitama from us, I'll probably approve you anyway, so it's okay. We're not very exclusive on it. Um, all of our videos you can find there. Um, we are going to be coming out with another microcurrent device eventually, probably the next six months. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be really exciting. We'll have new videos coming out on that device. Any other questions? Don't have FB. Uh, reach out to us. We can email you the links. So even if you don't have Facebook, I'm ha we're happy to help you. Um, reach out to our live chat or email us at hello at artofskincare.com. And we can email you the links to any of our Mitama videos. Perfect. All right. I think that covers it. Of course. 
Thanks yeah. for talking with you guys. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us today. Oh, perfect. Janet sent an email. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Bye, everyone. Enjoy Bye, the rest guys. of your week.